Hi, my name is Odaina Eid and today I want to speak to you on the topic of comparison. In today's world, it's easy to get caught up in comparing ourselves to others. Social media advertising and even our own personal relationships can make us feel like we don't measure up. But as Christians, we are called to pursue Christ in a culture that constantly pressures us to compromise. One area where we often fall into this trap of compromise is comparison. So how can we overcome this trap and pursue Christ in our daily lives? So let's break it down into three parts. The first part is the problem of comparison. Comparison is a trap that can rob us of our joy, contentment and sense of purpose. When we compare ourselves to others, we often focus on our flaws and shortcomings rather than our strengths and gifts. This can lead us to feelings of envy, insecurity and even depression. But as Christians, we are called to set our minds on things above, not on earthly things, as seen in Colossians 3.2. The second point is the biblical solution. So how can we overcome this trap of comparison? The Bible offers us several solutions. First, we are to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, as seen in Hebrews 12.2. When we focus on Christ, we are reminded of our true identity as children of God and our unique purpose in his plan. Second, we are called to love one another, not to compete with each other. In John 13, 34 to 35, when we love others, we see them as valuable members of the body of Christ rather than threats to our own success. And here's point number three, some practical tips for overcoming the trap of comparison. The first thing you could do is practice gratitude. Focus on the blessings in your life rather than what you lack. The simplest example of this is mobile phones. Very often we look at the newest mobile phones that our friends have and we forget to be grateful for what we have been able to achieve. Another thing you could do is limit your exposure to social media and advertising. Be mindful of the messages you are consuming and how they are affecting your mindset. Many of the things we see on social media are either staged or do not tell the whole story. Another thing you could try is celebrate the success of others. When we celebrate others' achievements, we are reminded that there is enough success to go around. Be thankful for what God has done for you. Be thankful for those around you. We are all workers in the kingdom of God. Finally, as we pursue Christ in a culture of compromise, let us remember that comparison is a trap that we can overcome. By fixing our eyes on Jesus, loving one another and practicing gratitude, we can find freedom from the cycle of comparison and live the abundant life that Christ has called us to. Let us pursue Christ with our hearts and trust in his plan for our lives. See you next time.